What it do, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button for me. So I want to give a little bit of a history lesson with this video right here. Now, what made me want to do this video a while back was when Cardi B and Madonna had a bit of a spout when Madonna felt like they ain't paying homage to her. And when Cardi B was called her out saying that Madonna pretty much pioneered the Cardi B's, the metastatics and all them. Cardi B felt a sort of way. But it wasn't really that exchange that really got me. It was the media that acted like that Madonna was hugely responsible for creating and opening up that door. When it comes to women expressing their sexuality, whether it be vividly or on wax. Not true. Millie Jackson was the true pioneer of selling sex explicitly of imagery on record and in context. Now, she came out around a time where pushing edginess on record was considered taboo. Like, those records that she was coming out with, they were considered, like, Richard Pryor records. Like, for the, for those who listen in, you know who's in that 40 or 50-year-old bracket that where Richard Pryor was around? Her records is pretty much in that same vein when it comes to getting those raunchy records that you wanted to, to, to hear from your parents. But she was the first cussing on records, actually, and also talking about racism. Like She was the first female artist, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, that was really start cussing on record. And she brought a unique rawness to the table. She brought all of her sexual escapades and adventures on wax. Plus... What made her stand out, I literally I believe that while she isn't get she didn't get mainstream was because she wasn't afraid to speak her truth about race relations, mixed marriages, and most importantly, showcase that pride of blackness. Listen to the song um I had to say it. That shit would not fly today. Because she wasn't apologetic and she wasn't politically correct. She was afraid to call the elephant out in the room. She was very outspoken and, you know, proudly pro-black. So, for those who's listening, check out projects such as Live and Outages, Back to the, Sh Back to the Shit, Feeling Bitchy and Hurt Feels So Good. So, before Madonna, before Little Kim, before Meg Thee Stallion, before Cardi B, there was Millie Jackson. So, definitely check that out. I want to give y'all a little brief history lesson. Because you know what we do at Off The Cuff Radio, we educate, we give people game on history, and a lot of the unsung heroes that don't really have a voice today. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments, subscribe, hit the like button, peace.